It was a war that pit brother against brother. A bloodbath that was horrible to behold. Of course, I'm talking about the reactions on social media to HBO's forthcoming series, Confederate. The show depicts an alternate universe where the South managed to successfully secede from the North, fulfilling the fantasy of Southern rebels and fans of Samantha Bee. But with one small caveat, in that world, slavery is still legal. So yeah, some people aren't too happy with the show's premise. So much so that they're calling on HBO to cancel it before it's even been made. Hence the hashtag, no confederate. While many would call trying to silence speech you disagree with un-American, is there really anything more American than banning art that confronts issues of race? It's a pastime that unites writers both black and white. Harriet Beecher Stowe, Richard Wright, Mark Twain, Alice Walker, Harper Lee, Toni Morrison. Yep, your high school reading list was filled with problematic material that people tried and often succeeded at banning. The scarier and more challenging the artwork is, the more people are gonna wanna shut it down, which is why it's so important to refuse to do so, whether it's in a library or on a cable network that someone is illegally streaming in the library. Headphones, people. Because aren't we all better off for having read those banned books, or in my case, pretending to have read them for an eighth grade book report and later my college thesis? Now, is Confederate in the same league? Well, we don't know. There isn't even a script yet. All the banned books we mentioned had to be written before they could be banned. But with Confederate, we're witnessing a preemptive banning. It's like Minority Report, but the pre-crime is being potentially offensive. Interestingly, Minority Report? Nothing to do with minorities. Maybe that's why the Tom Cruise version was never boycotted. Critics of Confederate point out that many books with the What If the South One premise already exist. So why bother making a TV show? Right. Because if there's one thing that turns TV viewers off, it's doing the same idea twice. Plus, if people were gonna read those books, you'd see a hashtag campaign pop up to shame people into not reading them. As for me, I love Game of Thrones, but I never open the novels. I wanna see depictions of incest, not read about them like some weirdo. And since Confederate is being produced by powerhouse Game of Thrones showrunners David Benioff and D.B. Weiss, and producers of Empire and The Good Wife, Nichelle and Malcolm Spellman, it makes the project all the more intriguing. Maybe we'll see some dragons on the plantation? My property. My right now, Confederate is broadening our conversation on race. Imagine if it makes it to air. While in the past, slavery supplied the country with endless free labor, Confederate will supply the nation with endless think pieces by unpaid bloggers. Pieces like, are we living in Confederate now? Because last season we were totally living in The Handmaid's Tale. And according to organizers of the protests, we actually are. So, I don't know how the makers of Confederate plan on treating such volatile material, or what that PR campaign's gonna look like. But as HBO's president of programming, Casey Bloys, put it, Everyone understands there is a high degree of getting this right. If you can get it right, there is real opportunity to advance the racial discussion in America. The producers acknowledge this has a high degree of difficulty. It's a risk worth taking. But then again, isn't all art a risk worth taking? Damn, I'm like 3,000 characters over. So, what do you think about HBO's Confederate? Make it, ban it, or you don't care as long as Game of Thrones is on? Let us know in the comments and subscribe to our channel, We The Internet TV, and follow us on Twitter and Facebook for new videos every week.